right, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening in Epitsugi, everybody in Facebook land, everybody else out there. We want to welcome you to Captain's Call today. Captain Steve Weeman here. And uh, sitting in for Master Chief Wilkins is Senior Chief Holmes. How are you doing there, Senior? I'm doing well, sir. Good. It's uh, great to have you on the show once again uh, while Master Chief Wilkins take care of, uh, takes care of some business. And uh, we are here in the uh, Warlords hangar and uh, HSM-51 uh, fly the, uh, the awesome Romeo aircraft uh, MH-60. So we're uh, here in their hangar today and we've got a very special sailor on board today. And that is uh, YN3 Apodaca. Nice to see you, YN3. Thank you, sir. How are you doing today? Pretty good, sir. Awesome. So, uh, you know, we got some of your friends here maintaining the aircraft right behind us, which is great. It's always good to see. Uh, here's some, uh, some of your birds turning right out front. So uh, you guys are pretty busy around here, aren't you? Yes, sir. We stay busy. Yeah. So, uh, so YN, uh, that stands for Yeoman in the Navy, right? Yes, sir. Okay. So what do you do uh, here in the squadron that, uh, that help, helps keep the place running? Well, sir, uh, as a YN, we deal with correspondence, evaluations, notices, instructions, Pretty much anything you can think of. Okay, so uh, a lot of uh, a lot of uh, non-maintenance related stuff. You don't actually work on the aircraft, but you keep the uh, keep the squadron running, uh, pay statements, awards, uh, you yes, know, sir. separations, transfers, all that sort of stuff, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. So uh, so anything that uh, is involved with a person that keeps the uh, the person whole and ready, and uh, keeps their uh, record straight, uh, you you get your hands on. Is that right? Yes, sir. Okay, important job, and uh, we got a great sailor here with us this week. Uh, we actually have a few notes to uh, to go over today, so uh, I think, uh, Senior Chief, if you could uh, help us out with the first note, we'll get it started today. Yes, sir. Tummy time. EDIS, EDIS, and New Parent Support are teaming up to give babies from zero to six months a healthy workout on Tuesday, June 17th, from 9 to 9.30. Tummy time will be held at MPS Playground Building 949, room 220. Call 246-3372 to register. Also, housing office closure. At Sugi Housing Service Center, an unaccompanied housing office will be closed on Friday, June 20th, from 1130 a.m. to 430 p.m. for a section event. Please plan ahead if you have reserved party room or need housing assistance, building 1290 will have a duty at the front desk. CSAD bike ride. On June 20th, from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., the Coalition of Sailors Against Destructive Decisions is planning their first bring your own bike ride to Shannon Beach Park. Register now through June 18th by contacting QM2 Drain at Tiffany dot drain at fe dot navy dot mil or calling 264-3188 okay uso summer kickoff barbecue uso is hosting a summer kickoff barbecue on saturday june 21st from 11 a.m to 4 p.m at yukoska's base red brick area there will be free food children's games and bouncy houses enter for a chance to win a 2014 harley davidson sportster iron 83 or five thousand dollars cash the event is open to sofa personnel only for more information, contact the USO at 241-4894. Also, we have a base-wide power outage coming up. Due to the inclement weather this past weekend, we were scheduled to do a base-wide power outage, uh, but we've rescheduled that uh, until June 21st to the 22nd, just a two-week delay. The power outage will start at 2300, that's 11 p.m. on the 21st, and it will end by 0700 on the 22nd. For more information, contact Public Works at 115. And if I could just follow up on that, Please make sure you turn off your air conditioners and all of your major appliances. Uh, refrigerator's okay, but anything drawing a lot of power so that when we start the uh, the plant back up, that we don't uh, pull it off the line because of all those uh, startup currents are uh, pretty excessive there. So uh, please uh, turn your air conditioners off before you go to bed on the uh, night of the 21st and sleep through it. And you guys won't know the difference, so I'll wake up uh, to a nice cool house. So thanks. Navy Exchange updates. For Navy Exchange facilities, there are a few additional reminders related to the baseline power outage. One next meeting mart will close at will close on Saturday, June 21st at 9 p.m. to prep for services. Sorry, to prep for servers for the power outage. Two, the next food court will reopen on Sunday, June 22nd at 7:30 a.m. after the power outage. Exceptional family member program. Reminders to update your exceptional family member program status every three years. Your PCS orders will be delayed if EF. MP has expired. Please see BHC at Sugi Patient Administration for assistance or call 264 3953. 
Okay, great job. That AFM program is big and uh, fully administrative. Uh, big, uh, big work to do there. So great job, Line Three. Do you help out with the EFM program? And uh, I don't believe so, sir. No, okay. I should probably get involved, though. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, well, that's great. So uh, Line Three up, back up. Uh, thank you for joining us on the show today. Uh, great start, Senior Chief. Uh, we got a lot of good notes out there and some good stuff. Yes, MWR is going to tell us a little bit about what's going on around the base. It is summertime. Camp Fuji uh, or Fuji uh, climbs are right around the corner, so hopefully you're doing your stairmaster and you're uh, you're climbing, getting your high altitude uh, training uh, regimen on. You're going to be climbing Fuji this year? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Good. So uh, how about you, Y3? Have you been up it yet? Yes, sir. I have. Okay. Yeah. Outstanding. Well, good. So um, anyway, we'll be right back after MWR lets us know what's going on on the base. And uh, please join us for the second part of the show. Please stay tuned. Have you ever climbed Mount Fuji? ITT is looking for volunteer guides for the summer 2014 season. You must be in good physical condition, have CPR and first aid training, and have climbed Mount Fuji. If you're interested, stop by the ITT office in building 978 or call 264-3770. Have you heard of Itsugi's Liberty Blue Jacket program? Sailors E1 through E4 can now get great deals on Liberty events, movies, and even discounted tours. Ask about the Blue Jacket program at the Liberty Center in Building 77 or call 264-4750. This summer, learn how to swim at the Outdoor Pool. The Outdoor Pool will hold American Red Cross certified swim lessons for both kids and adults. Signups are held at the Central Registration Office next to the Child Development Center in Building 3250. Call 264-3588 for details. This summer, sign up your kids for Atsugi Summer Camp 2014. Camp counselors from the USA will help mentor kids in a variety of summer camp programs. Sign up dates are posted at the Central Registration Office next to the Child Development Center in Building 3250. Call 264 3588 for details. The Atsugi Library has a summer reading program running from June 18th through August 6th. Stop by the library on Wednesdays at 10.30 a.m. for special summer events. And don't forget the toddler story time every Thursday from 10.30 a.m. Call 264-3776 for more information. Was it my fault? I deserved it, right? <laughs> what will my command thing? I don't want anybody to judge me. I wish I could talk to somebody. I just don't know how or what to say. Are you living with violence in your home? If so, victim advocates are standing by to help. For more information, stop in at your Fleet and Family Support Center. Okay, welcome back to the show. Thanks, MWR. Lots of good stuff going on around the base and uh, here in the Kanto Plain. And uh, we're here with the uh, the second part and uh, wine three. So uh, good job on the first one doing the notes for us. So I um, uh, understand uh, you've got a uh, somewhat large family and uh, there's someone else in the Navy uh, that you uh, that uh, has joined with you. So you yes, want sir. anything you want to tell us about him? Yes, sir. Uh, he is actually a first class. He's also in IT, so he works in administration. Oh, yeah. And uh, where is he stationed? Uh, he is currently stationed at home as a recruiter. Okay, no kidding. Back in Texas? West yes, Texas? Okay. All right, great. Well, uh, now is there anybody else you'd like to say hello to, maybe here in the shop, or uh, anybody else you want to take the opportunity to, to greet? Yes, sir. Uh, first off, just say just a shout-out to the squadron, 51, and a second shout-out to the uh, administration up there up with me. Okay. Um, second, well, third, I'd like to say hello to my mother, the family back at home, friends. I'll be home soon. Pretty much it, sir. Okay, that's great. So, uh, so Wine Three is doing an amazing job to the folks out there, and to, uh, the big brother uh, IT One out there. You know, he's doing uh, doing some amazing stuff. You know, serving in uh, the FDNF, the four deployed naval forces, uh, certainly has its challenges. One of them is being uh, a long way from family, and, uh, and you know, you're certainly serving well over here in, uh, in Japan. Your squadron thought highly enough uh, to recognize you as the uh, sailor of the week here, uh, the only one on the base this week. So. Uh, pretty important uh, selection. We are really proud of you, and uh, I'm just proud to serve alongside you, with, you know, with you here at the base, and uh, you know, just keep up the great work uh, as you continue your neighbor career. So good job. Thank you, sir. Okay, so uh, we got some uh, some concerns and some uh, some good points we want to highlight. Let's see if we can answer a couple questions and uh, maybe make the base better and uh, 
and uh, Sioux Chief's going to tee up the, uh, some of the issues we can, we can fix. Yes, sir. The first concern is for uh, the Human Resource Office. New civilian USCS employees were hired three weeks ago. On their start date, HR told them that the CAT card process procedure takes about a month. This will delay their training. Can the CAT process start the day the employee is hired? Okay, so uh, this employee, thank you for your ice comment. Uh, we really appreciate it. And uh, wow, that's got to be really frustrating for both the worker who wants to get started and uh, for, the, uh, for, the, uh, for the office that hired you. Uh, unfortunately, uh, that's impossible. That is completely out of our hands. It's certainly not in uh, human resources' hands. Uh, they have nothing to do with the, uh, uh, with the CAC uh, sourcing problem. Uh, the civilian personnel system uh, really is not uh, agile, uh, the one we work with. So this is, uh, you know, back in the CONUS. Uh, everyone has to go through the, the appropriate background check. Everyone has to be given the green light. If you think of it uh, DOD-wide, uh, there's a lot, there's thousands and thousands that come into the office every single day and uh, the system just does not keep up with it. So uh, your concern has been heard uh, from my level up to two, three and four star level. Uh, we sincerely understand your problem and uh, I've made that complaint to my boss and uh, his boss. So uh, we appreciate it. You think, thanks for writing in. Uh, we'll continue to emphasize this problem. Uh, we want everybody to be productive. It's frustrating. Um, the CAC will come in, uh, and then you'll be get off uh, get off to a good start. But uh, but thanks for writing. I appreciate your concern. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to uh, fix it right now. All right, sir. The next concern is for the NEX Mini Mart. Can the Mini Mart provide better flavor slushies such as cherry and coke, vice orange and melon? Okay, so this is a great us comment. You know, this is sort of stuff we need to hear and. Uh, Apparently this customer uh, goes through uh, many different slushies here at the, uh, the Mini Mart, so we're glad to hear that. Uh, so Mr. Uh, Newbill over at the Mini Mart says, uh, we are working with Suntory, which is a Pepsi distributor here, to change the current flavors of the slushies. Uh, we need to go through our, our current inventory before we order new ones, unfortunately. So uh, then we can bring in the two new flavors. Thanks again, and uh, please contact us directly. This is the sort of stuff we'd love to hear, and uh, I will be enjoying my first Pepsi-flavored slushie here as soon as we get it in alongside with you. So thanks for writing in. Sir, the next one is for McDonald's. The double door entrance is an inconvenience for personnel with double strollers. Okay, uh, well, the good news is we have a fix in place already, and that is uh, there is a single swinging door towards the rear of the McDonald's, uh, back by where the, um, uh, where the bathroom is. That is a single uh, opening door, and uh, you should have no problems getting your stroller in that way. Uh, I agree that uh, that double door, I think that's going uh, to be tough with strollers, um, but uh, just go towards the back of the store, towards the, uh, the drive-in, and that is a single opening door, and uh, you should have no problem getting your... Uh, McDonald's and cheeseburgers and all that kind of stuff uh, in there. So uh, thanks for writing in. I appreciate you taking your time to, uh, to write a nice, um, some good comments today, Senior Chief. Thanks very much. All right. I think we got one more, right? One more. Okay. The last one, the last concern, sir, is for the beauty shop. I have had consistent bad experience at the beauty salon due to rude and unprofessional customer service. Mm, okay, so that's not satisfactory here at the base. Um, so uh, it always helps when we have the uh, customer comments uh, provide uh, when the, uh, with the contact information. So uh, we can come directly back at you and we can tell you exactly what, uh, what we've done to remedy the situation. Uh, in this particular case, uh, we don't have a time or date and we don't have video in the beauty shop, so we don't know what the, uh, the nature of the, um, of the complaints are. Uh, all we can say is that we have done training with the folks in there and uh, over an hour and a half after the incident was reported. So uh, the bottom line is if you're not happy with customer service at our Navy Exchange, our commissary or anywhere on the base, uh, there's someone to call. Okay, Contact a supervisor. Uh, our job is to make sure that you have a great experience no matter where you go. Right. So, uh, so we're very interested in that. I do appreciate you writing back. Uh, hopefully this situation was remedied and you won't find that. Hopefully your next experience is a lot better here at the Navy Exchange because you, uh, you deserve high quality um, stuff going on here at the base. So thanks very much for writing in and uh, we will appreciate your feedback and hopefully make things better for you. All right, any more, senior? No, that'll be all the concerns, sir. Okay, best part of the show and that's when our awesome sale of the week gets to do the BZ. So uh, one and three, hit it. So our first Bravo Zulu is out to Family Housing. On behalf of PWD Environment Division, I would like to thank the housing personnel, especially Mr. Tony Lopez and Mr. Tim Mask, and Ms. 
Naboku Nagai for assistance they provided during the drinking water cross-connection in lead and copper material survey conducted throughout the housing units. With their outstanding support and survey went smooth and completed as scheduled without delay, this work is intended to ensure the safety of NAF Atsugi drinking water. Again, we appreciate your continued support to NAF Atsugi drinking water program. The second Bravo Zulu goes out to Ranger Jim. The additional of the power lifting chains are excellent. Christopher Martin and the staff are excellent. The third Bravo Zulu goes to Halsey Fitness Center. Wanted to give a big thank you to the field maintenance crew who prepared Bandy Field for the 2014 Far East Baseball Tournament. The field was in pristine shape for the start of the, of the tournament and the rain came. I'm sorry. The, the field, excuse me, and then the rain came. Not to worry, Pat and White are still till 7 p.m. pumping water off the field and he and his crew were there at 5 a.m. the next morning preparing the field for play. They did an excellent job of preparing the field under adverse circumstances. Without a doubt, the tournament could not have been completed without their diligence and hard work. The players and coaches commented to me how much they appreciated the field maintenance crew's hard work and so did I. Thanks for making the, the tournament possible for the kids' sake. Always a pleasure working with the Atsugi MWR. The fourth Bravo Zulu goes out to Ranger Gym. The gym is great, very clean, and staff are friendly. Dan is very helpful and always a great attitude. Okay, way to go Ranger Gym. That's a couple of those guys. And I know uh, YM3, when you go over to Ranger Gym and do some weights, you put the stack on and then the chains, right? Another, <laughs> another 50 or 60 pounds for you. Uh, so I don't know, I've never lifted the chains, but uh, they must be pretty heavy. Um, but uh, yeah, Ranger Gym does a really nice job. Uh, they're really personable and friendly over there. So. Uh, so great job to all you folks in MWR, and uh, thanks for writing in your BZs and also the comments. Always makes us a better place. So, uh, well, line three, that's about the end of our show. Is there anything else you'd like to uh, help us out with today? No, sir. No, just all looking I got. forward to getting back to work, aren't you? Yes, sir. All right, good. Well, uh, we're ready to sign off here, and uh, we really appreciate the Warlords for inviting us into their hangar. HSM 51, you guys do some amazing stuff. You got uh, aircraft all over the uh, the Far East on ships and uh, and uh, here locally doing uh, great stuff. Appreciate your crews uh, and what you do, and uh, certainly the maintainers who keep the planes flying. And uh, we really appreciate everything. So, uh, YN3, thank you very much for having us over here. Thanks for all that you do for here, uh, us here in Japan. And we uh, appreciate it, and uh, we will see you around the base. Thanks, sir. Okay, well, that's it from uh, Atsugi. We'll see you next week on the Captain's Call. Thanks for joining us today.